Question two is an integration question. It's um, an integration by parts question. Um, and normally, if we've got an x term, that's the thing we're going to want to differentiate, unless there's an l and x involved, and then that wins, um, and that's the thing that we're going to want to differentiate. So our u dash is the x to the 4, and our v is the l and x. And so u is the integral of this, not the differential. So that's x to the 5 divided by 5, because when we differentiate ln x, we get 1 over x. And then we can use our um, integration by parts rule, which says that the integration integral of u dash v is uv minus the integral of uv dash. So we're going to get uv first of all, so that's this thing here, x to the 5 over 5 times ln x minus the integral of uv dash which is these two things times together. Now uv dash is x to the 5 over 5 times by a 1 over x. So this x here is going to cancel with one of these x's here to leave us with x to the 4 over 5. We can also integrate this. So we're going to get, obviously, what we had at the beginning here again, x to the 5 over 5 ln x minus x to the 5, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, divide by 5, this is going to become 25 now. Now we can apply our limits, which were e and 1. So we are going to get e to the 5 over 5 times by ln e. I'll simplify all this in a second. Take away e to the 5 over 25. Minus 1 to the 5 over 5, so that's just a fifth, ln 1, minus 1 to the 5, so just 1 over 25. But what does that simplify to? ln of e is just 1, so we get e to the 5 over 5, minus e to the 5 over 25, ln of 1 is 0, so that's nothing. And then we've got minus minus 1 over 25, so that's plus 1 over 25. Now if I turn this into um, a denominator of 25, that would be 5 25ths. Because then we can group this these two terms together. We've got 5 e to the 5 over 25 minus 1 e to the 5 over 25. So that's going to be 4e to the 5 over 25 plus our 1 over 25. So that's my final answer.